Fancy fish and chips tonight as you unwrap your supper. No doubt you will be tucking into cod, salmon or haddock. But have you considered dab or even megram? While these fish varieties may not be on the menu yet at your local chippy, experts believe they should be. The Marine Conservation Society has updated its good fish guide, suggesting the best fish to eat both in terms of sustainability and boosting the UK fishing industry. The group says choosing from a wider range of fish and broadening our tastes would take pressure off individual fishing grounds and encourage demand for the most sustainable and local seafood. While it acknowledges that most of us favor familiar names such as cod, salmon, haddock, tuna and prawn, it has suggested an alternative best choice top 10 we might like to try. The list includes dab caught in the North Sea, hake from Cornwall and herring from the Irish, Celtic and North Seas, Southwest Ireland and English Channel, as well as the hake and herring both certified by the Marine Stewardship Council some types of sustainably caught mackerel. UK rope grown mussels and megram are also on the list. Megram is a deep weight of flatfish from the same family as turbot and brill. It is joined on the list by Devon brown crab, queen scallops, polack and oversole. Bernadette Clark, MCS Good Fish Guide program manager, said, although they may not trip off the tongue like cod, mackerel and place, these could and should be the fish supper of the future. UK consumers tend to stick to their tried and tested top five both in taste and familiarity but not always sustainability. Cod, tuna, salmon, haddock and prawns from the right sources are all ok. But there's so much more to explore and the additions to the best choice list are a good place to start. We are currently exporting around 75% of fish caught and landed in the UK but we're the ninth largest importer of fish in the world. By choosing more sustainable sources and keeping it local it will help reduce waste and wild caught fish that are discarded dead because they have less value. By choosing from a wider range will put far less stress on individual fisheries.